So in this video, we're going to discuss the direct basal ganglia pathway. And before we start off, let's first define exactly what the basal ganglia are. And they are effectively discrete sets of neurons that modulate movement. And the basal ganglia uh, consists of uh, the striatum, which is composed of the caudate and the putamen, uh, the globus pallidus, both the internal and external segments. The internal segment is the only one that's shown in this schematic. Uh, the substantia nigra, uh, as well as the subthalamic nucleus, which is not shown uh, in the schematic either. And all of these uh, entities are discrete anatomical collections of neurons. Uh, deep within the brain, and they work to turn movement uh, on or off in response to input from higher areas of the brain. So how does this whole pathway actually work? So ultimately, it starts off in the frontal lobes of the brain, and when you decide to move, uh, you send uh, an excitatory um, stimulus to the striatum, uh, that uh, I'll write here as a plus because it's excitatory, and it's modulated via the neurotransmitter glutamate. And that increases the activity of neurons in the caudate and putamen. And ultimately what, this, what happens is that now that these neurons are firing faster, uh, they send increased inhibitory signals. And I'll, I'll say this is an inhibitory, a little minus sign there. So this is an increase in inhibitory signals via the neurotransmitter GABA to the globus pallidus internal segment and the substantia nigra. Um, which uh, in turn decreases the firing or the messages that are sent by these two um, uh, basal ganglia uh, pathways to the thalamus. So at this point, it's important to realize that the normal function of the globus pallidus and the substantia nigra is to actually inhibit the thalamus, and that's GABA, uh, via GABA as well, the neurotransmitter. So ultimately, when you stimulate um, the uh, uh, striatum from the motor cortex, you get uh, an inhibitory effect on globus pallidus internus and substantia nigra, and this ultimately de leads to an uninhibition or uh, disinhibition of the thalamus because this message here is no longer making it through since the striatum is inhibiting globus pallidus and substantia nigra, if that makes sense. So now the thalamus is free to send uh, stimulatory signals, plus, and this is also via glutamate, glutamate, back to the motor cortex. From there, the motor cortex gets excited and it sends off uh, signals to uh, various muscle groups via the spinal cord uh, that ultimately result in uh, a desired movement. So, uh, ultimately, this is a very uh, simplified view of a complex set of neuronal pathways. And our next video will discuss the indirect uh, indirect basal ganglia pathway and how that further fine-tunes and modulates movement.